One of our time-tested family favorites when we're camping is Sloppy Joe's. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. One of the time-tested traditions for our family is Sloppy Joe's in the Dutch oven. It's a great meal to make when you're out camping or even in the backyard. So let me show you how it's done. We're going to start with, you can choose your meat, but for us today it's going to be a pound of hamburger and a half a pound of sausage. But you can do ground turkey or chicken or whatever your preference is. So just make it to your taste. And then our ingredients here, a green bell pepper, large yellow onion, garlic powder, tomato paste, ketchup, barbecue sauce, water, yellow mustard, Worcestershire sauce, salt, and pepper. If you want to warm it up a little bit, you can add a few things like chili pepper or red pepper flakes. Maybe you want to add a dash of hot sauce or maybe some of your favorite steak sauce. Let's prep it up and go. Some recipes say that you should mince your green pepper and your onion, but for us, we like it a little bit more chunky. So let's go ahead and cut up half the pepper and half the onion. As you might be able to see, we've got a little bit of rain coming down, but that's not going to deter us from making some great sloppy joes. So we've got our hamburger and our sausage ground, ground up. Uh, we're gonna open this up. We've got the Dutch oven going and we're gonna just put the meat in and break it up as it cooks. The hamburger's just about cooked and so it's time to add the green pepper and onion. And by the time it's all cooked, we'll drain it off and then add the other ingredients. Oh, check that out. Green peppers and onions going in. That should only take three or four minutes and then everything will be ready to drain off. We're going to just read the recipe and go down the list and add our other ingredients to this bowl. And when the meat and the veggies are finished cooking, we'll drain them off, put them all back together, and we'll have some great sloppy joes. So first thing that we're going to need is a half teaspoon of garlic powder. There we go. One tablespoon of tomato paste. Add that in there, we're going to be generous third of a cup of ketchup. Perfect. Next, we've got a third of a cup of barbecue sauce. Nice. And a third of a cup of water. Just brought my water bottle here. It's great. We need a teaspoon of yellow mustard. It's great, we'll leave that in there. Half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Beautiful. One half teaspoon of salt. A oh, little bit much. Too much. Okay. <laughs> and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Okay, very nice. And we've got some things in here we're just gonna use to stir that up with. And we are ready to go. Now it's time to drain the meat and veggies. And we'll put it all together and let it simmer for a little bit. All right, let's just take this off. We're gonna drain this, so I'll just use my lid lifter and my hot pad. Just pour the mixture into there. Pretty good, we'll put that back on the coals there. Just drain some of that grease off. Okay, we'll add that back in. Now we'll get our wet mixture. And stir this in. Now we like our sloppy joes very meaty. If you like more juice, then you can increase the, the other mixtures as per your taste. This looks really good and it smells great. We're gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then we'll serve it up. Okay, this is ready. 
And so what we've done, we've flipped our lid over and we've buttered our buns and got some toasted buns here. Wow, that's nice. Put a little sloppy joe mixture on there. Wow, looks terrific. Then one of the things that I really like to do is I like to top off my sloppy joe with a little pepper jack cheese. Put that on there, everything's nice and warm. Let it melt down and you've got a wonderful meal, especially on a cold rainy day. We hope that you'll try this recipe and we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV. Oh wow, that is great.